What's going on everyone? Welcome to another key shot quick tip. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create fully transparent and controllable shadow layers without creating a shadow pass. If you're looking to have more control over your image shadows during post processing, the easiest way to do that is by isolating the shadow as its own render transparent image. To do this, you'll first want to start with an empty scene. You'll add a ground plane from the geometry menu or by hitting control or command G and then change the material type of that ground plane from ground to flat. Once that's been done, locate the planes color setting and change the color to black. The next step is to open the texture sub tab and under the opacity input, change the texture type to occlusion. And then from there, change the map mode to inverse color to blend the ground plane with its environment. At this point, the scene should essentially appear empty, which is what we want for our ground plane model set. I'll go ahead and I'll name this model set ground to make it easier to identify. Then I'll right click the panel and add a new model set that I'll name product. Make sure that when you're adding the new model set that both link materials and always visible are checked off and make sure that the ground plane is also toggled off. So the new model set does not contain a duplicate ground plane. With the new model set created, lock the ground shadow model set, make sure product is selected and drag and drop your model into the scene. In this case, I'm using a model I sourced from the cloud library, so the model is stored under my models tab, but you can also do the same with any model brought in from outside of Keyshot. I'm also going to quickly render my model sets thumbnails before continuing so I can easily identify the different model sets. I'm now going to set up the last model set, which will create an independent shadow layer. I'll select the parts I'd like to include under product, right click the selected parts and select the create model set from selection option at the bottom of the pop up menu. This will allow me to create my last model set, which I'll name product alpha. And finally, to make our shadow, do this by simply adding an emissive white material to the models in the scene and then under the advanced accordion, uncheck visible to camera. By unchecking visible to camera, we can no longer see the model, but the shadow created by the model is still present and able to be rendered out independently. Note that if you do encounter artifacts in your scene where your now hidden model once was, the easy solution is to simply increase the ray bounces and your artifacts should disappear. I can then render out the product and product alpha model sets to post process in my program of choice. And as you can see, I now have two image layers that are both entirely transparent and can be placed in any scene or against any background without including elements of the ground plane or the model's reflection. Hopefully this quick tip helps add a little bit more flexibility to your post processing workflows. And as always, if you're interested in more useful key shot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this quick tip in the comment section below.